Hey everybody, my name is Sari Akawanis, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this paper iris. And um, everything in this um, video um, that you see um, is something that comes in my paper iris and paper tulips kit. Um, so this is the iris that is going to be yielded from this kit. Um, and all of the paper and wire and floral tape, everything that you need to make this exact flower is all included right in the kit which you can get at foldedpetal.com. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is take out one of our iris petal sheets and we're going to separate it on this cut line right here. And we're going to set aside the large petals for right now. And right now, all we're going to do is fold along the fold line. And this is the only time that um, being really precise with one of my paper flower kits is um, I encourage because um, the back and the front of these are kind of mirrored. Um, the back gives you a little bit more wiggle room for when you cut. But the closer you can get it right on that fold line, the better your petals are going to come out. So we've got that all folded really carefully. Now we're going to cut out the first petals. And we just really want them to be um, rectangles right now. So I'm just going to cut right in between the, the petals, just like that. And now what we're going to do is open up our first petal. And we are going to measure it. So you want it to come um, pretty much to a little bit a little bit below the top of that petal. Um, and I have a line in the detailed instructional booklet that shows you exactly how um, much, how big, how long you want that um, wire to be. But it really doesn't have to be exact. Um, a little bit longer, a little bit shorter, and it's gonna come out just fine. So I have that one cut out. And for this, oops, for this petal, for this um, flower, we want nine of these, because each, each petal gets its own little wire embedded into it. So I have my set of nine right there, which I'm gonna just set right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some glue onto this petal. And you want it to be a really thin layer of glue. If you go too thick with the glue, the water in the glue will react with the ink on the paper. And it kind of will create some like weird splotches and um, discoloration and it'll kind of bleed some of those details that are in that petal. So we just wanted a really thin layer of glue. And I like to put a layer of, a thin layer of glue on the other side, just at that very end, because that tip isn't gonna get any adhesive if it um, doesn't get it now. So now what we're gonna do is we'll take one of our wires Make sure it's pretty straight. And we're gonna center it right on the petal. Just like that. Now we're gonna fold it over and smooth it out. Just like that. And now we're gonna set that aside to dry for about an hour. And I have some already done, which are still kind of They've been drying for a while, but let's just say these are all three setting aside to dry for an hour. And now we're gonna do the second petal, which is a, a similar size, but um, different shape. And we're gonna do the same thing with that one. So we're just gonna take a thin amount of glue, get really nice and evenly distributed just do a spot right there, just like that. Then we'll take one of our wires and center it. And now we're just gonna flip it over and smooth it out. And then I'll let that dry for, like I said, like um, an hour, 45 minutes. And I've actually found that um, by the time you start your first petals and get them all done and then do the second petal and get those all done and then get the large petal and get those all done, by the time your large petal is done, your small petals have been waiting for about um, 45 minutes, um, unless you're a lot faster than I am and then it might, 
and we have these all ready to go. So we're gonna set those right there. And now for the large petals. And these are the only petals that um, don't have like a really uh, wide berth on the back. They're basically a carbon copy on the front and the back. And that's because they're bigger, so you um, don't need as much wiggle room because they already kind of come with their own wiggle room built right in for when you cut them out. Now we're just going to take a thin layer of glue just like before. And you actually don't have to do this side with this one because it's going to be big enough that the wire will be able to embed itself fully just the way it is. So we're just going to do a thin layer. We're going to take our wire. And these aren't going to go all the way up to the top of the petal because they don't have to. They're just going to kind of, there's like a lavender um, part right there. And that's going to be totally fine. So now we're just going to fold it over, smooth it out, and allow that to dry for, you guessed it, an hour to 45 minutes. And we've got some already done right over here. And I'm going to set the glue aside for right now. going to cut out the petals. So we're going to start with these first petals and I'm just going to do one of each um, so you can kind of get an idea of um, cutting them out but it's pretty easy peasy. You're really just gonna, and that wire got a little close to the edge but that's okay because the the stem part of these petals gets seen a lot less. And you really don't have to be super careful about cutting these out. Um, the templates on all of my Paper flower kits are meant to be more of a suggestion than a hard and fast rule. Because in nature, no two petals are exactly the same. And the same should be true of the flowers that you create with your paper flower creations. They don't have to be all perfect. They just need to um, be generally that shape, but you can go, um, you know, you can play around with it. Um, don't stress out, have fun with that. You know what I mean? And now we're gonna cut out that second petal. And this one has a has a, a raggedy edge, so I like to just kind of um, zhuzh it a little bit by like going back and forth with my cut. And I always like to hold, have the hand that's holding the petal um, drive, and I keep my scissors pretty much the same place. It's just uh, helps you have a little bit more control over, over your cut. And that's a little too close, not close enough. So I'm just gonna trim that little itty bitty piece of white. Now the big petal. And these flowers are, for how detailed and beautiful they are, they really are pretty easy to make. There's just nine petals, so it's not, it's not too big of a, a, a stretch. Peonies take 900 years because they have a million petals. <laughs> so I'm just gonna set these all aside. I have some already cut out right over here. So we've got, three of the first petals. Three of the second petals. And three of the third petals. And now we are going to take a piece of floral wire. This is the silver floral wire that comes with the kit. It's a little bit thicker. It's an 18 gauge wire that's not wrapped in anything. I like um, a nice plain wire for to keep to make the stem. And we're gonna take floral tape. Now, if you've never worked with floral tape before, it is super duper weird. As you can see, it doesn't have any stick at all. And the very mild stick it does have is created by stretching it and it really just wants to stick to itself and the paper that we use in these kits. So we're just going to take that and activate it by stretching it and then turning the wire simultaneously. So it's kind of like a, 
um, your one hand is stretching and the other hand is twisting, just like that. And for this flower, I like four or five, no, three or four um, layers of floral tape. Just to kind of thicken up the stem a lot, I'm like really obsessed with details. Um, and the thing that bothers me most about um, paper flowers is when the, thin, when the stem is too thin, gee whiz, it just kind of really brings you out of it. You can have the most realistic bloom, but then the skinny, teeny, tiny little stem, and it's like, that's not what that stem would have been like. It's much thicker. So we're just gonna pad that out a little bit with the floral tape. And now, we're gonna set that floral tape. I'll set it over here for right now. So now we're gonna do is we're going to sculpt these petals. And it's really easy for the first one, and this is the one that you sculpt first, and the other two you sculpt after they're on the stem. But it's so easy, it's just a, a press that way and a press that way. And that's exactly the shape that you want it to be. So we're just gonna bend it that way and then bend it up, just like that. Perfect. That one's a little too, going in too much. There we go. Now we're gonna get our floral tape back out. I like to have a lot of slack on my floral tape, as you can see. Because <laughs> it's not going to stick to anything, so you can really just pull it out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach these petals to the stem, and we want them to be equidistant from each other, which sounds really scientific and hard, but it really isn't. And So we're just going to secure that with a little bit of floral tape, and again, it's just the motion of stretching it to get it to really stick. We're gonna get that nice and, and straight, just like that. Then we're gonna put in the other one. Give it a little bit of space, but it really doesn't need a ton because there isn't a lot of space on this wire. And don't worry if it um, ends up being nudged one way or the other, but it's totally fine. You can, you can fix it, like that's a little too a little too far apart, so we're just gonna twist that. Just like that. And now we're gonna get that third one on there. Perfect. So that's the first petals done. Now we're gonna add the second petals. And we're just gonna go right in between the first three. So that one's gonna go right there. And so you don't have to watch me do all three. I have one already done right here. So as you can see, the second petals are right in between the first petals and they don't have to be perfect. Nothing ever has to be perfect. And now we're gonna take our large petals and put them right on top of those second petals. like that. And so you do the same thing on um, all three of the sides. And I have that all ready. You can see those, kind of look at it from the top. You can see those um, petals on the inside too. And now we're going to sculpt the large and, we're gonna sculpt the large and second petal all together. So now we're going to just curve it down, just like that. So we're gonna get all three curved down. And then, 
you just grab that the top petal and push it up. Just like that. And this is coming along really nicely. The next step that we're gonna do is the neck. Um, the neck of an iris really has, it's really beautiful. Um, and it has a lot of gradation and a lot of small details. And those details really just make this flower come alive. So the first thing we're gonna do is separate these into the shapes of their like kind. So just like that. And now we're gonna roll them. So I'm gonna start with this first one. And basically we roll them because this paper has been flat its whole life. And it is gonna be round for the rest of its life. So just kind of rolling it gives it a lot, it's, it'll tear a lot um, less easily and it'll, um, it's gonna, we're just telling it that it needs to be round now. So we're gonna go around that way at first. And then instead of forcing it to be really tight all at once, I like to go back and forth a couple of times. Cause it's really gonna make that paper know that it's round now. And see how much tighter I can get it the second way? It's just teaching those fibers how you want them to be. And you can go back and forth as many times as you want, but I think that looks pretty good. So I have all of the shapes rolled up and ready to go. So now all you have to do, oh, my space is getting a little messy. Let's set that aside for now too. Okay, so now we're going to just do, cut. we're just gonna cut out one of the shapes from each of the rolls. And you don't have to be perfect. And if you start putting them on the stem and you're like, oh, I wish that was a little bit smaller, just cut it down. It really won't make any difference at all. to watch me cut out all of these. You get the idea, just one from each of the different shapes. And I have them all cut out right over here. So now we're gonna start applying them to the stem. So we have these all ready to go. And you do have to kind of open up the petal a little bit so you have room to work. But you can push them right back down when you're all done and then just add them to that stem. And you want it to be a little bit lower so that all this bulky part that was created with the tape and the petals and the, all that wire underneath there is gonna be totally covered up and it's gonna just be a really elegant transition from this thick part to the more thin stem. And the cool part about these kits is that a lot of the detail that's gonna really wow your friends when you show it to show them the flowers that you make. So are gonna really, um, they're already on the paper. So it's gonna be like really impressive, but um, not as hard as having to hand paint each petal before you make it. So now I'm just gonna, so see how that one kind of curves up in? And if you don't have a space to curve it in like that, you can just trim it and it'll be fine. You don't want it to go like, the neck pieces to go like up into the, the bloom too, too much. I like that one there. And I actually think that that, just with three, is gonna be a good cover. But if you 
um, end up using all of the shapes and you're, you still have like white gaps, um, just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and add more. It's you have plenty to do all the flowers in your kit, um, so don't don't feel like you have to. You have to be like you know stingy with them. Use as many as it takes to just cover that whole um, whole base of the bloom. And I really think these neck pieces just make this flower. A lot of times those kind of details get um, overlooked, but I overlook no detail. <laughs> okay, so the final step on that actual, on the flower part, we're gonna, we're gonna push those down again, is a stem paper. And the stem paper comes in a really long, uh, it comes in a really big sheet and you just cut the stems, stem papers out. And when you're cutting those out, just know that um, you can cut into the green as much as you'd like, but uh, try to make sure no white is remaining. So I actually bent those down too quick. I'm opening them up, up again. So now we're going to, it's just a really simple thing. You just press it in and it sticks because this tape, even though it has almost no stick at all, sticks to itself in this paper. So now we're going to just keep on covering it. Use a really gentle hand because this paper can rip super duper easily. So I'm barely holding it on at all. I'm just kind of keeping that angle with this hand and then twirling it with the other hand. And this hand is doing the pressing into that tape as well. And I cut this down, the stem down from the length that comes in the kit. Um, the ones that come in the kit are gonna be twice this length, but I cut it down because my light box is a little bit small and it's really awkward to have a giant piece of floral wire with not a ton of space to work with. And that is that. How gorgeous is that? It has all of that detail that you'll find in nature because I tore apart probably two or three dozen irises to really investigate what makes it tick. And then that's what allows me to create such a um, beautiful recreation and what allows you to create it too if you get the kit. You'll have all that detail, all of that thought already done for you. So you can just do the really fun part, which is making paper flowers, which is super fun. So as a final step, we are gonna make a leaf for this because Leafs are important too. <laughs> so the first thing we're gonna do is, this is actually is a full length of um, floral wire for the leaf um, for the video purposes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just put one coat of floral tape on this wire. See what I mean? It's too big for this full light box. <laughs> And a fun thing I like to do, which is my obsessive eye for detail kind of um, going into overdrive, and you don't have to do this at all, but if you want to make just a couple of inches past the wire, so the wire stops there, but I'm gonna keep on going. Such a crazy small detail, but that's gonna allow your, um, the stem of this leaf to taper at the end, which um, they do. <laughs> but you totally can skip that part. No one will notice. <laughs> so we're gonna get our glue back out. And um, you guys should know that this paper desperately wants to curl once it, the glue hits it. It's gonna curl up. There's nothing you can do about it. I mean, I have occasionally toyed with um, taping it down to whatever surface I'm working on. But mm, whatever, like it, it, just as long as you have something covering it, like I have this brown paper covering my table right now, um, it will get glue on the table, so be careful. But, um, and it is going to curl just about the second that glue hits it. It's just the nature of the paper. This is a, um, a lightweight ve vellum, which I think creates when, especially when it's um, 
laminated. Oh, it looks just like a leaf. It has the same kind of texture and weight and feel, but you have to deal with the annoying curling because it's gonna curl. <laughs> so now we're just gonna take that and a little bit opposite of the um, flowers, we're gonna um, position that wire to the unglued side just because the glued side is so unwieldy. And now we're just gonna fold that over and smooth it out. You can, because this paper is translucent, you can totally see the little bubbles. So I like to take a little bit of extra time to smooth that out and it's gonna look just like a leaf when you're all done. So this needs to, because like I said, um, this really wants to curl this paper, uh, put it in a giant book for 24 hours. Like no joke, 24 hours. I know it's like a pain and a bummer, but if you don't do it for 24 hours, it'll curl up, um, you know, the next day. Just because um, it really, that glue is pulling that paper in and um, the moisture has something to do with it too. So this one has been in a book for 24 hours and I'm just gonna cut it out. And I'm sorry, the bottom of these leaves are so bulky. Just make sure they are underneath, like, you know, beyond the rim of the vase. Um, usually these leaves would be wrapped around that, um, that iris, but I've never, I, I like the freedom of kind of being able to place them and not have them be so attached to the iris. So that's why I made this kit the way it is, just like that. Look at how nice that looks. And now we're gonna get our, our iris back out. And you can see how beautiful that all looks. Sculpt the leaf a little bit. Have it arch down. Maybe the sunlight's going that way, so it's gonna go that way too. Look at that. The most realistic paper iris around. And it doesn't even take, it's not that much work to, to do. It's, it's a lot of um, repeating steps, but it's a really fun project and it's pretty easy to do. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, like I said, you can order this kit at uh, foldedpetal.com or foldedpetal.itsy.com. And thanks for watching. Have a great day.